on these jobs mm-hmm. report, 215,000 jobs added, but the rate ticked up by a tenth of a percent to five points. That's right. And essentially what we've seen, if we take the long view of all of these jobs reports we've seen over the past few months, Diane, we're seeing the economy is just hitting this stable place that is not a high growth place. It's stable, solid jobs to keep the unemployment ar- rate around the same point. If you if you dig into those numbers, and the jobs report is so great to dig into, if you dig into them, what's happening is we're seeing far fewer layoffs. We're seeing far fewer temporary workers losing their jobs. People aren't losing their jobs, but more people who were not employed are entering the workforce. So those two things are balancing out, and that's why we're not seeing massive Um, unemployment number change. There is also an increase, Ed, in the wage picture. Yeah, I was just looking at that again. Uh, Up 7 cents for the month, 2.3 percent year to year. That's often one of the data points that critics of the administration will look at and say, well, the unemployment rate's been dropping, but is there more money actually going into the wallets of people who are who are employed, and it suggests that it is. Uh, and a 63 uh, percent labor partici- rate, participation rate, which is up about a half a percentage mm-hmm. point since the fall when it fell to its 40-year low. So again, all the numbers are starting to sort of turn around and go up, which is why the unemployment rate ticked up slightly, because more people are starting to look for work. Positive yeah, positive trend lines for sure, yeah. but uh, by no historical standards would this be a rebo- robust uh, c- recovery. And the indicators are that where we are in our U.S. economy is improving, but improving gradually. And on the campaign trail, Diane, which I've spent a considerable number of months on, the conversation is resonating if a politician, any politician, says it's not good enough and you're not satisfied, nor should you be. That's not just Republicans saying that. Bernie Sanders says that. Hillary Clinton says that. And it reaches a captive audience because statistically these numbers suggest an improving and good economy. But for many places in this country that I visit and many voters I talk to, either they don't feel it or it hasn't materially changed their lives for the better. Major Garrett, he's Chief White House correspondent.